Bus Studios is a recording studio in OKC. Um, our mission is to help local artists um, and has expanded to being able to work with national artists. And our heart has always been just the dream of the artist. That's what vaux means. It's a French word for dream or desire. And to turn that dream into a reality, you know, music is such an intangible. So to be able to make that then tangible for people is so fun. And that's what we do. What's so exciting about Oklahoma City is there's a ton, a ton of local talent. Um, and I, it's almost like every time I throw a rock, I hit another incredible, <laughs> incredible vocalist or artist or songwriter. And so um, those of us in the music scene know that some of the biggest acts in country music and pop music today on the main stage, the global stage, come from Oklahoma. Since the beginning, since kind of the inception of this studio, there's been one definite and clear partner for me in music, uh, which is an artist named Yasmin, Y-Z-M-N. Yasmin Catalano is a pop artist here in Oklahoma City, um, and we've been collaborating since, like I said, the inception of the studio. Um, an amazing artist, definitely going places. It's very easy at Vogue. <laughs> it's very easy at Vogue, and it's very easy with James, because um, this studio, it's probably the safest that I've ever felt in my entire life, recording anywhere. I think with James and I specifically, when we collaborate, he's very in tune with the um, message that I'm trying to send with the song. He's very in tune with like, what's my vision? That's the first thing that he asks before we do anything, is like, what do you want people to feel? What do you, what do you want, to, what message do you want to send? so that he makes sure that he's on the same level as me. I get to be one of the producers on our team. Uh, my specialty tends to be more female artists, pop vocal sounds. Um, the two artists that I get to manage are in that genre, um, but we have a team of incredible people. Right now, today, I'm working on a rock record um, that's uh, designed around video game music, uh, characters from popular video games. Um, we've got an artist that's from Rhode Island, someone that's flown in from Colorado, from Florida. They're working today in the studio right now, which is really fun. Um, and then, uh, of course, there's an incredible uh, roots and kind of Americana music scene here that streams into country and blues and folk and bluegrass. And um, it's, honestly, it's just a treasure. As just a lover of music, the diversity of that is so exciting. You know, some people, they work nine to five every day kind of doing the same thing. And I've, I haven't had a week like that in 10 years, you know? So it's, it's pretty wild, it's pretty different, you know? Songs is the most important thing. And that's what connects us to music. It's the lyrics, it's the music. And so first, we're just after an incredible song. Um, the rest of the technical gear is just an extension of that process to capture it. Once the song is in place, the pieces, the arrangement, the order, is ready, that vocalist then gets to pour their heart out and hopefully deliver a performance that will connect um, emotionally with, with the audience. And at that point, it's that very brave and courageous step of sharing it with the world. Um, and a lot of times we like to say, at that point, it's not our song anymore, it's their song. It's scary at first because really, um, it's, it's like you're offering a piece of yourself um, to whoever wants to listen. Um, it's very vulnerable to put music out there. I always say like, I can't wait, you know, every time we're working on a song, I can't wait until I can just press play in my car and like listen to the finished product because there's so, there's such a rewarding feeling. So I don't think anyone, unless you're in music, um, it's hard for people to wrap their head around all that it takes to put a track together. <clears throat> There's so many elements and so much that goes into it. So to finally see it finished, it's just such a breath of fresh air. It's exciting, you know, and it's, again, it's like what we talk about all the time. Um, it's not my song anymore. It's their song, whoever decides they want to connect with it. This place is so tremendously special. It is such a hidden gem. James is such a special person to work with. Like, it, I would recommend this place to any artist out there that's wanting to, um, work on their project because it's just, you will feel at home here. That's what we're about, it's the artist. And though I get to kind of sit in all of those groups, 
um, it's incredibly exciting for me to highlight them and put them at the forefront. That's what's so fun about being a producer is being in the background and lifting up an artist's vision and their sound and sharing it with the world. So the next time you're listening to a new artist like Yasmin, chances are it came from a special place like Bose Studios.